there was a couple, there's phase one and two clinical studies on Alzheimer's disease where they were given 500 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams of resveratrol, resveratrol a day. And both of these studies um, found that there was a reduction in amyloid beta 42 in cerebral spinal fluid. There was an improvement in cognitive function um, and a couple of other parameters. So uh, it was kind of interesting because I recently had Dr. Dale Bredesen um, on the podcast and he has this whole protocol uh, where he's able to, with certain you know diet and lifestyle factors, you know improve um, cognitive function and also by MRI like help shown to like reverse some of the um, atrophy in the hippocampus. And so resveratrol was on his. He's got this long list, and I kind of like everything in the kitchen sink. Where I was like, geez, like what is all? And resveratrol was on there. I never really knew why yeah. uh, until I re- very recently was reading a little bit of the clinical studies. So I thought that was um, super interesting as well. Um, and then the other thing that was interesting, as you know, is the autophagy because um, resveratrol seems to be activating autophagy. Yeah. And um, I also interviewed Guido Cromer on the podcast. Oh, you did. And okay. he talks about the, these three signals that are important for autophagy, and one of them is the decrease in protein acetylation. Yeah. Yeah, because sirtuins are histone deacetylases. Right. So that would lead to right? A decrease in protein. That's exactly right. So that's how these Pac-Man enzymes are working. And one of the enzymes that they work on is an autophagy protein that goes and destroys bad protein. So it's perfectly reasonable uh, to think that if you take resveratrol, it might be clearing the body of those proteins. I have seen a study Mm. with with resveratrol. So that's... Yeah, Richard Turner, um, I believe, he's the... That's the study I think you're referring to. And it looked really promising. And he did what looked like a, a very convincing study, but... Uh, he actually is still trying to raise the money to do his larger trial. Mm. Uh, and I'm trying to help him with that. But I, I would love to see that repeated and yeah. done in, in more people.